Welcome, Flip Clock fans. We have this sound design in Flip Clock Fan Studio today. This was sent in by a visitor to flipclockfans.com because the clock's got issues. And I'll show you what's going on here. All right, I've just plugged it in. And as you might be able to tell, we've got some significant noise going on there. Uh, another issue is the tuner knob does not work. Now, uh, I have no earthly idea if I'm going to be able to fix this, but um, regardless of the outcome, at least someone else may have a similar situation and could maybe offer us some help. All right, well, I'll break into this. It seems to be just a matter of taking out all the screws. I won't bore you with that. I'll break into this and and we'll get a look and see what's going on all right we got this disassembled here and the first issue we'll just go ahead and get out of the way is the tuner so the person who sent it in let me know that the tuner was not working so it, it just this wasn't working uh, moving the dial back and forth uh, that actually is not that bad of a deal so this is this uses the old um, stringer type so the string will move the dial and then the string moves the actual tuner that's on the circuit board but if you look here see if you can see that what you'll have is a post and then the string will be wrapped four or five times around the post now the post is just moving under the string yeah that's a better so it looks like it's lost some tension it's it's weak it's it's limpy here so we'll we'll probably increase the tension here at the spring and that should that should fix that without me putting anything on here now the motor which is what the noise the racket is so you can hear that now probably it's a it's a jinky gear inside this gearbox uh, I mean it could be yeah, it's going to be inside this gearbox. Maybe I can lubricate it and that'll just take care of everything. Or um, we'll just, I'll take this down and we'll just have to see. Just remove these two screws. Um, we'll decide what we're going to do at that point once we get there. All right, so what we're looking at here. See how you can turn that motor in a certain orientation and the sound stops. So all she's got to do is put her clock radio on about a 45 degree angle and then and then she'll be fine. So that's what that's how we're gonna fix that. Uh no. But anyway, so this here, this is a what I'm gonna do is take this off so that I can see if the gears just need to be lubricated. That would be awesome. Uh, not likely this prob they're probably chewed up now these what happens is they take this case and Just push over top here and it snaps into place and what happens when people are trying to restore is we have to kind of You have to pry that off on these three different spots and it's going to crack when you do that So what I'm going to do I probably will unplug it and then I'm going to dunk it in a little bit of uh, real hot water uh, I don't want that in there very long. I don't want the water to creep up in here. But I'm going to get into the gear case anyway, so it shouldn't matter. So we're going to dip that in there, not get that in, um, and then see what's going on. It really wouldn't matter anyway, because it'll all dry out. This is just a coil under here. It sounds like there'd be bearings in there uh, jangling around. That's what people assume. It's not. It's just a post. It's a simple post that goes all the way into the gearbox. It's just a post. That's all that mechanism you see in there is a winding. It's a uh, electrical winding. So there are no moving parts except for this can that's going around and around on a post. All right, that was curious. So it was just a little experiment. Somebody said online that uh, sometimes dunking in boiling water will uh, have plastics not be so brittle. It kind of failed. So these things are classic for when you get these off, they're going to crack. 
Now anyone who's ever done this before knows that this actually isn't bad considering what normally happens. I don't think the Duncan water did anything, but this isn't going to hurt anything to put it right back on. It's just a dust cover. Now the craziest thing was it did suck water up into the gearbox when all that was going on. Again, not a big deal because I'm going to get in there and I can lubricate without any problem at all. It's not going to cause any problem or corrosion. And the good thing is once you get the box off, you can actually lubricate this post from the back side and cuz normally you have to drop oil down the down the front and then hope it works its way back into here. Now there's something strange. The sound's gone. I haven't done anything except the gearbox did get filled with water. Now am I recommending that? No. Uh, it's just probably indicates that it actually did need to be lubricated. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug this because we really shouldn't be working on an energized clock. I'm not recommending that. Usually on these motors what's going to happen is that the gear that first contacts the gear out of that's connected to the spinning part here usually gets chewed up. It's not. It's not disintegrated. It's, it's discolored, but it's not disintegrated. But this thing is silent now. So you see, there was nothing wrong inside here. It's This needs to be lubricated. Now what I'm going to use is... Where is that stuff? I'm going to use this stuff. Synthetic whatever. PAO grease. I did notice on this clock it had a really good light. So this is an original light because you can't find them this shape anymore. And it's there's no blackening on it at all. So I'm and it hasn't I don't think anyone's been in here messing around. I don't know. I don't think so, but that's a really good light. Alright. Except for the face here, the only messing around. Now I think that looks jazzy. So someone uh, made an error. They used uh acetone to try to clean some things up thankfully they didn't get it on here because that would have ruined it and to fix it they used fingernail polish but i like it personally it's jazzy so let's get this all put back together and see what we got all right so there we go we've got the clock back together everything went as planned the clock is flipping just fine there's no sound from the motor at all so it was the gears uh they had they were getting janky in there um the Radio. Radio's working fine. So the tuner uh, problem was simply the string. It just needed to be tightened up. That was it. Just over the years it gotten loose. So there it is. We were able to get this clock going. And I appreciate uh, Jamie for sending it in. And so there it is. Thanks for taking the time.